Hi guys, welcome to Memphis Motors. And today we've got the video tour of the Range Rover Sport HSE. Um, lovely car just coming to stock. And if you do watch our channel, obviously you'll know we predominantly deal in Jaguar Land Rover. And so, yeah, always nice to have this model of Range Rover Sport in stock. It's a really nice car. Uh, as you can see on a template, gorgeous miles. It's only done, we'll just double check inside, I think it's 77,000 miles. So nice and low on the mileage. So many of these have now gone over 100. So really good mileage. And um, yeah, just thought we'd give you a quick video tour of the car. What I'll do is I'll just do a quick wander around the car once and then we'll go back around it for a second time in more detail, kind of run through the spare, any imperfections. But we're just finding these video tours really useful. So many of our customers now are looking to buy from us online. Other customers are looking to travel to see us. You know, sometimes you've got to travel quite a long way for a specific car. And we're just finding the video tours just add that confidence. You know, if you're looking at an online delivery, but you've seen a video tour first, then actually it's quite nice because it just gives you that confidence. You're not relying just on the photographs. You're not relying just on our say so. And it's just, like I say, the day comes, the car's delivered. There's no hidden surprises. You've seen everything and you can just enjoy it. Equally, if you're traveling a long way to see us, or even if you're not traveling a long way, if you're just making time allowance to come and see us, it's time's money and no one wants their time wasted. So if you've seen this video tour before you travel, hopefully it just will help you decide whether you want to come and see it or, or potentially not. Um, so before I get into the main video tour, just very quickly, all of our cars, they all come with a 41 point health check, which is carried out by our technicians. So make sure the cars are good, safe for the road. Anything needs doing, it'll be picked up on and done. Cars come with brand new services and we always put a new MOT on the car. Unless the car has got a current MOT that's, you know, one or two months old, um, then we will put a new MOT on it. We'll also assess and, and deal with the advisories and it will also come with a three month warranty, um, which you can extend. So with this car, it's just coming to stock. So I'm just doing the video now. I haven't really sort of looked into the bits and bobs like the MOT. So do check the advert text. It will sort of run you through uh, what this car's got in terms of service history, what we're going to do to just have a nice read of that. But you can obviously, obviously give us a call and talk to us about it as well. But if you've got an MOT, you've got a new service, health check, and you've got uh, a full 41 point health check, it's just nice because it just gives you that confidence to spend the money knowing that the car is good. So right, let's get into it, let's start the video tour. So I'm gonna start you on the driver's side and work around, so we get nice and low on the car. Um, first thing I'd say is gorgeous condition. The paintwork is absolutely lovely. It really does kind of, um, it, it really does speckle. And I don't, I don't know whether it's been garaged or maybe it's had a ceramic coating through its life, but the paintwork is really shiny. You've still got the pearl in the paint and it's absolutely lovely. So looking down the driver's side, you know, there's no dings, no dents. Uh, all the shut lines are where we want them to be. So yeah, very, very good. All our cars are HPI clear. So if you want a copy of that, let us know. Show it to you on the day or you can email it over. Let's get you down to the front alloy. So now obviously the mechanics will check through tires and brakes properly. So this is just a visual inspection. Um, I think one thing they had sort of mentioned was uh, a couple of the tires needed changing. And I think if you look at this front one here, the, it looks a little, it doesn't look like it's got as much tread on it as we'd like. So we are definitely gonna be replacing some tires on this car. I'm gonna leave it down to the technicians as, in terms of which ones need doing. It might be all of them, might be a couple of them. If we do change them, we'll always change them in pairs. So obviously being a four wheel drive, we'll always make sure if it's a front tire, we do both fronts. And if it's a back, we do both backs. And like I say, it may come with four brand new tires. So do talk to us on the phone about that. I'm just waiting for the, the guys to have a good look at it. Um, alloy wheels, you know, look not too bad. You know, you've got a nice design on it, which is which is really good. You know, these these were quite a classic classic sort of five spoke alloy. Um, and yeah, not too bad. A couple of little scuffs on it. You can have a look through the video, but nothing major. Overall looking pretty, pretty fresh, pretty tidy. Um, so yeah, nice start for us. Color coded side seals, which is a nice option. So rather than the black plastic, someone's had these colour coded. It just sort of finishes the car, really. It's a nice, a nice detail. Driver's wing mirror, not too bad. A couple of little light stone chips on it, but nothing major. No crazy in the bush scrapes. So fundamentally, very, very good. We've got keyless entry on the car. So we've got two keys in the car. Keyless entry. So as long as the keys are on you or near you, you can just walk up to the car and open it. You can also lock it and unlock it on this button here. So just super handy if, you're, if it's raining or you've got shopping or your keys are in your bag, you don't always have to grab them. Coming down the driver's shut line, really, really clean all the way down here, actually. No sort of clumsy opening into other cars. So very, very clean. Get you down there. Look, paintwork's so nice. Like I say, no little dings. 
few little drip marks from the vanities. I do apologise, I did try and wipe them off. But, uh, and then the same on the rear door. Again, very, very clean, nice paintwork. Again, really, really good. Looking on the back here, coming down the door line. Again, no silly little marks on it. These are just drips from the valeters. Very, very good indeed. Privacy glass on the car. Now, one thing on the privacy glass is we've got factory tints on the rear windows, but the rear window I'm gonna come onto, we're gonna retint this because it's all bobbled away. So I will come onto that in a minute, but we're gonna rear tint that window. I'm sorry, we're gonna retint that window. Onto the rear alloy, very clean. Barely any marks on that one. A few little light scuffs, but fundamentally very, very good. Again, rear tyres are going to get the technicians to check, but uh, overall the alloy looking really good. Nice round the fuel filler housing. Again, just drips there from the valeters. Round to the rear of the car. Really nice double sort of exhaust there. And actually it's quite nice. You've got a sort of a, a the, the, the pipes, the exit pipes on it aren't on all these. You know, sometimes they just literally feed straight down. So it's nice to have the chrome exit pipes. Badges are gone on the back. So normally you've got Land Rover. Someone's debadged it. I really like that. I think it looks really, really classic. It's, it looks sorry, quite edgy, sorry. If you want the more classic design, sorry, and you want the badges on, let us know. We've, we can supply them and fit them to the car. So it's not an issue to re-stick them on, but I think at the moment being badgeless is actually quite cool. But again, if that's something there's an issue for you and you want the lettering on it, do let us know. We can organise it. Rear tail lights, no issues, no water ingress in there. We've got rear reversing camera. And this is the tint here. So we're going to redo this. If you just have a quick look, can you see it's sort of bobbled in areas? So that's all going to be done. And we'll make sure the tint matches the tint on the side of the window. So that'll all be done. It'll be nice. I think it'll finish the rear end of the car quite nicely. Coming down here on the rear bumper, a few little marks. Got a bit of a mark here. Someone's just obviously... I knocked something over over a period of time. Just lost a little bit of the lacquer here and here. It's not major. You sort of stand back from the car. It's not that obvious, but just bear that in mind. A little bit of a knock there. Then the load shelf. We've got the plastic covering, and then just a few scratches. Typical, really. I'm just onto into the boot, isn't it? So a few little scratches along here. Nothing major, but again, whole purpose of this video is for you to see everything that we do. Rear corner fine. This rear corner, no issues at all. Very, very good. Light, that light scratch, very, very light scratch there. I probably have to polish that out and some drips. Then coming down the passenger side of the car, lovely and clean, nice and straight. Again, like the driver's side, no dings, no dents. Paintwork really is good. It's obviously been really well looked after. You know, for a car now that's 14 years old, it really doesn't look it. Rear alloy, good condition, similar story to the rest. You know, a few little scuffs on it. Nothing onerous, not perfect, but not too bad at all onto the rear door here pretty good we've got very very small little mark there i mean i'm being super anal here but very good all the way down little stone chip there but it really is minor again you know we just want to get everything in these videos it's the whole purpose of them so we don't want to miss anything coming down the passenger's door very very nice very good we've got a little bit of scratch here i could most likely polish that out it's very light so leave that to me but other than that, really good. Again, nice colour-coded seals. Quite nice, the vents, the black and silver there. Really, really good. Wing mirror housing, very nice. A little bit of a mark there. It's minor, but other than that, very, very clean indeed. Then coming down here onto the passenger's front alloy. And yeah, not too bad at all. Similar story to the rest, really. You know, a little bit of uh, scuffing going on, but fundamentally not too bad at all. Onto the front of the car, uh, we start the windscreen. Now, I know there's loads of glare from the warehouse lighting, so it's quite hard to, <laughs> quite hard to see everything. But uh, yeah, very good. Let's have a good look. Can't really see anything on that. There's no big chips or cracks on that at all. Well, there isn't any chips or cracks on that at all. A little bit of a hair there. But yeah, very good. The odd, very small, slight stone chip at the base, but fundamentally windscreen's in really nice condition. Coming down the... The front, the bonnet's nice. I'm just getting nice and low on the front here. And there we go. So again, I personally love the fact that it's been debadged. I think it makes it look quite mean. And like I said, it's sort of quite edgy. Um, some people might want the lettering on. We can get that done if you want, but really nice. Headlights looking really clean, nice and clear. They've not smoked over. There's no water ingress. So that does happen on these at this age, but they're very, very good indeed. Another sign that it may well have been garaged. Fog lights are 
in really good condition as well. It just looks quite mean, doesn't it? I quite like this grill here. You kind of got like a, a really dark gray grill here. It really does set the car off. So that's really nice. Coming along the bonnet line, very good. A few light stone chips, you know, some of them have been touched in, but nothing major, but just worth pointing out. Obviously I'm a foot away from the car under bright floodlights. So you're gonna see everything, but take a step back and you literally can't see anything. So a few little light stone chips, but nothing major at all. Same for the front bumper. Overall, very, very clean. Barely any stone chips on that. The odd one here and there. So just bear that in mind. But again, nothing major at all. Pretty clean on the front. Front parking sensors as well. So yeah, pretty good indeed, actually. So very clean sport from the outside. A little bit of a mark on the back bumper. The odd little stone chip here and there. And obviously, some of the alloys just needing a little bit of a a refurb if you want but they're not major so it's probably something no one would actually get around to doing inside the car we've got really nice cream leather seats nice contrast on the black you've got the perforated leather and they're all in good order you know the, the passenger side no rips no tears over here on the driver is very good the bolster really good on the upper bolster lower bolster a little bit of wear you're always going to get that but again no rips no cracks um and fundamentally nice and clean here on the base so just jump in the car it's always cold today so we get this door shut so in we go Seventy-eight thousand and seventy-three. so just just over again super mileage for a car this age two main keys one two a little bit worn in places but you know not too bad quite chunky keys they are on this one start stop button a little bit worn in places but overall pretty good and then foot down on the start stop and off we go now i've just driven this car i always drive them before filming them and it drives lovely it really does it's, it's very nice through the gearbox there's no lag it's pretty sharp um it's really nice driving a straight line brakes in a straight line plenty of power very smooth nice over the bumps i always sort of try and take it over the bumps to just check everything's sounding right and yeah it sucked the bumps up well you know no classic kind of suspension noises and thumps but again our technicians would have it on the ramp and check all the suspension but certainly from a test drive it drove really really well it drove like a car that's obviously been maintained well and it's got low mileage over here we've got the digital display so pretty self-explanatory we've got sat nav there i'll just show it working for you so that's no issues at all um then oh i've just turned the screen off so that's my fault don't hit that red button because it turns it off connect our phone so we've got bluetooth for the hands-free um audio video so we've got fm we've got dab um and obviously you've got the cd if you want it you can connect your phone to these cars um and do your bluetooth for your hands-free and i'm pretty sure you can connect it through the portable audio so you can do that and you can obviously connect it through uh, usb or aux i'm not sure whether you can stream your music on bluetooth through this model i'll just double check that but certainly there is a way of connecting your phone if you want to sort of you know use your own music i keep doing that I keep turning it off um and then other there you've got loads of other settings you can mess around with the car you can play with the four-wheel drive settings as well so it's quite a cool quite a cool feature coming down here heated seats Air conditioning working really well. I've got the heat pumping out at the minute, but I did test the cold and it worked well. We've just replaced these buttons. They were a little bit gammy when it came in. So we've just replaced all these buttons along here just to freshen the car up a bit. Gear stick in good operation. You've got the Triptronic mode if you want. Electronic handbrake working well. Off-road settings. Suspension, I had the car up and down. It worked really well. Went to high mode, low mode, normal mode. Didn't creak. Moved nicely through the compressor. So I was pretty happy with that. Over here, got a nice sort of leather dash. The etching along here which is quite a nice feature. And then you've got the two-tone, the black and the, the cream effectively. As you come over to the side, that continues, black and cream. And it's really nice. You've got the upgraded hum card and sound system. So very, very nice indeed. Up here, we've got the lighter headlining. Nice and clean, no rips, no tears, not sagging. Then we come down here, passenger's bolster. Bolster armrest, nice. Driver's armrest, really good. Could do a little bit of a clean, which we'll do. Then on here, centre console, no issues at all. And I don't know if we've got a fridge on this one. We have, yeah, we've got a fridge box. So it's really helpful to have the fridge. There's a USB and iPod. The fridge are brilliant. I always say in my videos, if you haven't had a fridge, then you get a fridge. It's one of those things you can't live without after a while. Because in the summer, it's great just to chuck a sandwich in there or some drinks in there, especially if you've got kids, just keeps things a bit cool. 
steering wheel really nice condition they do last well big chunky leather wheels they do fare the test cruise control to the left hands free to the right triptronic if you want to get a bit lively with it there we go we've got automatic lights we've got memory seats on the drivers only but it is electric seats on both both sides of the car and then obviously we've got the heated seats as well coming into the rear again really nice condition down the door cards heated seats in here and the rear seats in nice condition they don't look like they've had a lot of use at all so they look like factory almost they are absolutely fantastic isofix points as well so if you've got children just nice to know that but very very clean and then finally into the boot we should have some mats in here yeah we've got mats in here uh, nice and clean in the boot got the parcel shelf present um it's always good i think when you look in a boot if it's covered in dog hair or or, or, or or bits and bobs you know maybe it's had a you can tell a bit of a story about it how hard the life is but this is super clean in the back and i just i think associated with the mileage it obviously hasn't been worked that hard at all so there we go that's the video tour i hope that's useful um if you'd like more specific areas filmed or photographed do let us know there's no issues we can get them over to you if you're looking at a potential delivery just give us your postcode. We'll get you a price on delivery and an ETA. We can normally turn things around quite quickly here. Or if you're looking to come and see the car in person, we'd love to see you. We are by appointment, so do phone ahead just to make sure you don't turn up and we're not here, but usually we're around. But just like I say, give us a call ahead. You can message us, WhatsApp us, or email us. We'd love to help. But in the meantime, thanks for taking the time to watch the video and hopefully that's been useful.